Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Freak. On the menu tonight, World of Tanks. We're going to have a look at what arrived with the 0.9.22 patch. So, with all the hype surrounding the 1.0 patch, what did Wargaming slip into the 9.22? Well, this time, the Russians got all the attention. With the addition of not one, but two new Tier 10 heavies, a tier 10 medium and a replacement for the object 263. Sure, we still don't actually have the medium or one of the heavies, but that isn't really the point, is it? The new heavy line starts at tier 8 with the ISM, followed by the object 705 and the 705A. There is a new tier 9 heavy pushing the T-10 into its own line with a soon-to-be-announced Tier 10 heavy tank. The Tier 10 TD, Object 263, has been demoted to Tier 9 and replaced by the Object 268 version 4. The Object 430 has been removed from Tier 10 and placed at Tier 9 next to the 430 Mark II. Below it is the T-44, and above it is the Object 430U. The new Tier 10 medium seems to be a solid bit of kit with strong armour and a 122mm gun. These new heavy tanks are interesting though. They have been touted as being the Russian rear turreted tanks. Although in truth the turrets are not really rear mounted. The ISM is a proper rear mounted turret, whereas the next two are mounted slightly rearward of centre. To be fair, when you look at the other Russian heavies, these turrets are a long way to the back. In my eyes, they have a kind of a bat chat appearance, the central turret and the basic armour layout is similar, <laughs> if you squint hard enough. I haven't played these new heavies outside of the test server, but at that stage, they were very tough to penetrate and would reliably shrug off gold rounds when placed in a solid hold down position. I don't know if this is going to be an ongoing trend or not, but it seems to me that Wargaming is now balancing their tanks around premium rounds rather than regular ammunition. Make of that what you will. Uh, keep an eye out on my channel for uh, detailed videos on these new tanks. So. What else did we get this patch? Well, we got a tweaked matchmaker, and I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Let me read you a little excerpt from the patch notes. When it takes too long to assign a player to a battle, the matchmaker may add extra battle modes to those you've marked. If the wait takes more than 50 seconds, you'll enter the first available match in any mode. So, to my mind, this means that if, even if you don't want to play alternate battle modes, you may still get them. Um, they're also saying there's a new mechanic in the matchmaker that tries to prevent you from seeing the same battle mode over and over. So, if you've had an encounter mode, it'll try to not give you an encounter mode straight away again. They do state, however, that you will still be able to get grand battles every second battle. And if you're one of these people that have been having repeated grand battles, <laughs> you suck. I haven't had a grand battle on the live server yet. Ranked Battles is making a return. Uh, they've updated the Chevron system. Um, there's nothing else I can add. Go have a look at the video that Wargaming's put out. That should give you everything. The link will be in my video description. For those of you that are enjoy painting the tank, there are some tweaks inside of that tab, including some more clickable spots for emblems and inscriptions. Oh, I don't know what that means though. I had a look in the paint shop, nothing leapt out at me. So uh, let me down in, let me know in the comments down below what what I'm missing. Uh, the SU-101 and the SU-100M got buffed. Uh, there seems to be lots of percentage changes on uh, gun handling stats and things like that. 
The T44 and T44-100 T variants received a buff to engine horsepower. They're now rocketing along with 760 horsepower. Uh, there are other tweaks mentioned in the uh, patch notes, but that seems to be the bulk of it. As you guys have no doubt noticed, I have now reached 100 subscribers, and I do have an announcement video up for you guys and girls to go comment on for a chance to win a free premium tank. I've also set up a Patreon account so that you wonderful people are able to support the channel directly. At this stage, there will not be any unique Patreon content, so to reflect that, there is only one supporter level for one dollar a month. Thank you for stopping by the fridge. Make sure to check out my other content. Like, subscribe. I'll see you again soon.